Hi guys, it's Hazim again from redscore.com. In the previous couple of videos, we were working on our bookstore application where we created uh, this controller method and we defined some routes in our routes file. Now in this video, we will create a model for managing our books. So to create model, I'm going to create a new package here. Let's call it models and here let's create Java class which is book to represent single book in our bookstore application. Let's create uh, some properties of this book application integer id public string let's call it title public integer price public string author let's write a simple constructor for this book model integer id string title integer price string author this dot id is equal to id this dot title is equal to title and this dot price is equal to price and last author is equal to author so this is our book model just to keep things very simple we are not going to save all of these books into actual database we are going to create a simple temporary storage in this book class and um, then later on we will remove that uh, storage and we will actually save all of these books into a real database but for now i'm going to create a data set for books model let's create private static set of book model and let's call it books and let's create a static block to initialize this books storage books is equal to new hash set let's add books into this storage one title C++ price for this book will be $20 and uh, the author of this book is for example ABC okay let's call it Java ID for example is 2 price is $30 and author is xyz so this is simple storage for our books now let's define some methods that will help us to get uh, books and remove books from this storage let's create method that will return all of these books so it's going to be public static and the return type is uh, set of books and uh, let's name it all books and we will return this books here let's create another method to return one single book
find by id and we will pass the id of the book that we want to find and uh, we will return the book that we want to find let's loop through this data set book in books if id dot equals to book dot id if we find the book that we are looking for then we are going to return this book and if we doesn't find any book then we will return null let's create another method to add book to our storage static void add and we will accept book as a parameter and uh, we will insert this book into our book storage and the last method that we are going to create here is remove method which will return true or false depending upon the operation that we want to perform here let's call it remove and again we will pass uh, the book that we want to remove book and then we will return books dot remove and then we will pass the book that we want to remove so our model is ready in the next video i will show you how to implement this index method i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys like this video then please like it if you dislike it then dislike it and i will catch you in the next one